Hi all, uh, this video is about type of micro instructions. There are basically two types of micro instructions, vertical micro instructions and horizontal micro instructions. What are the properties? For vertical micro instructions, each micro instruction specifies a single or few, that means one or zero micro operation to be performed. My vertical micro instruction specifies one or zero micro operation to be performed and control signals are represented in encoded binary format. That means the control signals that inside the micro instructions are specified in an encoded binary format. Here for N control signals we require only log N to the base 2 bits, uh, bits for representing the control signals. That means for representing N different control signals we require only N log n to the base 2 number of bits okay this is the property of vertical microprogramming that means in vertical microprogramming the control signals are represented in an encoded format so the control signals are presented in encoded format so this uh, due to that vertical instruction must be decoded to produce control signals so in order to activate the control signals, we need to perform decoding app operation. Why? This is because the control signals are represented in an encoded format. The encoded format requires only minimum number of bits for representing the control signals. So in order to activate the control signals, we need to decode first. This is slower than horizontal microprogramming because in order to perform or in order to activate the control signals we need to perform some decoding operation in addition. So this system of vertical microprogramming is actually slower than horizontal microprogramming but it make use the raw memory effectively because here we need only log into the base 2 number of bits that is minimum number of bits for representing and different control signals minimum number of bits in the memory is used for representing and different control signals so it can effectively utilize the memory space but it is slower than horizontal programming because it needs some decoding operation in addition in order to activate control signals but in case of horizontal microprogramming, each micro instruction specifies many different micro operations to be performed in parallel. A single micro instruction itself uh, represents many micro operations to be performed. Okay. This is the property of horizontal microprogramming. But the problem is the control signals are represented in the decoded format itself directly represented in a decoded format so that it requires more number of bits for representation that means n control signals are represented using n number of bits here okay so that it requires more memory space but it is faster than vertical programming that uh, because here we uh, need not perform any decoding in uh, in uh, here we need not to perform any decoding operation in order to support or in order to activate different control signals because all the control signals are presented in a decoded format itself. Okay, the, what are the difference between these two types of instruction? The vertical microprogramming, the instruction contains only one control signal one or zero control signals but horizontal microprogramming each instruction contains many number of micro instruction that can be executed in parallel the instructions in my vertical microprogramming all are represented in an encoded format encoding support to utilize minimum number of bits for representing different number of control signals but in horizontal microprogramming the control signals are represented in the decoded format itself so that it takes more number of bits for representation this vertical microprogramming uh, actually the control signals are represented in encoded format means it requires minimum number of bits so that it can effectively utilize the raw memory space but here in micro, uh, so horizontal microprogramming, the instructions or the control signals are represented in the decoded format itself. So it requires more number of bits for representing each control signals so that it can't effectively utilize the raw memory space.
but in case of horizontal microprogramming here we don't want to perform any decoding operation uh, in order to activate control signals but in case of vertical microprogramming we need some external or extra circuitry like decoder circuit in order to perform decoding operation in order to activate certain control signals okay so in order to understand this topic in detail consider uh, one example first like this suppose our system can perform four different operation like add subtraction multiplication division etc and also our system consists of eight different registers named as r0 r1 r2 up to r7 okay suppose uh, how we want to perform an operation like subtraction of r1 comma r2 what is the meaning of this instruction we want to perform a subtraction r1 minus r2 and resultant value we want to store back into register r1 itself so we want to perform this particular operation now but the system can perform four different operation and for supporting we have eight different registers here so how can we represent this uh, particular instruction in a horizontal micro in instruction format or in um, horizontal micro instruction type here the subtraction this four bit indicate four different operations and the remaining eight bit here represent the eight registers okay so this first one is zero or in a disabled mode means here we don't want to perform addition here we want to perform subtraction so that the second bit become one here that means here we want to perform operation subtraction that is why the second bit become active and all the other three bits are kept as zero because here we don't want to perform addition multiplication and division okay and the remaining eight bits it actually represent eight different registers each bit indicate each of those registers okay so what are the um, registers we want to use here as a source registers r1 and r2 so zeroth register r0 is disabled here r1 is active here r2 is also active here because here we want to perform subtraction r1 minus r subtraction of r1 and r and all others registers are kept as zero that means all others are in a disabled mode here we want to operation subtraction between r1 and r2 okay so in the horizontal micro instruction in the decoded form uh, this particular instruction can be represented like this okay the first bit is always connected with the first adder circuit second bit is connected with the subtraction circuit third with the multiplier and fourth with the division and the fifth bit is connected with register r0 and second with r1 this with r2 r3 and so okay so in order to perform certain operation we just want to activate different bit it, it will automatically tr trigger certain operations and certain registers on so here we require total 12 bits for representing this particular uh, micro operation okay so total requires 12 bits so in the same operation suppose you want to perform the subtraction operation but here we following this vertical micro instruction format who can we reduce the number of bits here here uh, we have four different operation how many uh, bits are required to address these four instruction uniquely here we have four instruction so two bits two bits are required an minimum for uniquely address all these four four instructions uniquely how can we address add as 0 0 subtraction as 0 1 multiplication as 1 0 division as 1 1 right and here we have eight different registers named from r0 to r7 how can we address all these eight register uniquely we can use three bits uniquely for addressing three bits of address information for uniquely addressing this eight registers like 000000101010011001010 and finally 1114 register r7 right so using this address information how can we represent the same subtraction operation here 
the sub sub can be represented using this address information 0 1 here we used total 4 bits right and activate only the second bit in order to activate the subtraction circuit but here we address subtraction using this address information 2 bit address information 0 1 ok next this R0 is represented here we want to activate R1 and R2 so just write the address of R1 R1 is address of R1 in 3 bit 0 0 1 and address of R2 in 3 bit 0 1 0 so this is the vert, uh, vertical micro instruction or the encoded form of the subtraction equation here ok so here require total 8 bits that is the minimum number of bits 8 what is the meaning of the uh, this 8 bits but sorry what is the difference here require total 12 bits in order to represent the subtraction equation in horizontal micro instruction type but in vertical micro instruction it reduce the number of bits required and here we use only 8 bits so this is the encoded format this is the decoded format right so what is the difference in horizontal micro instruction the instruction uh, directly represented in decoded format but here it is represented in an encoded format using minimum number of bits to represent the instruction. So, but here we can represent few more, one, more than one number of instruction that can be executed in parallel that means we can activate any number of bits so that it can perform different number of instruction in parallel but here in vertical instruction format we can activate maximum one instruction at a time okay and what is the other difference here we need an extra decoder circuitry in order to decode the instruction first and identify what are the operation want to perform 0 1 means we want to identify uh, decode this address information 0 1 and identify what operation want to perform here actually the 0 1 indicates subtraction operation and 0 0 1 the third uh, three uh, next three bits indicate register r1 and the next three bit uh, and address register r2 so first decode and identify what the instruction actually meant for okay here here we don't want to perform any uh, decoding and all directly available what the instruction we want to perform okay and uh, what is the other difference here it takes 12 bits of information but here it takes 8 bits that means this particular method effectively use uh, utilize the memory space raw memory space but it um, use maximum number of uh, bits for uh, representing this instruction so here it, it does not consider the uh, utilization um, effective utilization of this memory okay so this is the difference main difference between this horizontal micro instruction and vertical micro instruction this is the general uh, representation of our instruction uh, type horizontal micro instruction instruction address want to uh, represent the jump conditions like unconditional jump c condition jump based on uh, based on when the result becomes zero and we want to perform jump when an overflow condition occurs and all so we want to specify the jump condition here and system bus control signal we want to specify the bus control signals here and internal cpu control signals also want to specify here this is the lengthier and the format of horizontal micro instruction and this is the format of vertical micro instruction but at the content micro instruction address information so just like the previous one and next about the jump condition and function codes and different function code to specify the operation cpu uh, control signals and as well as the bus control signals etc okay so this is shorter in length and it is in an encoded format Okay, thank you.